Hey guys, I am using my phone on a selfie stick, so sorry if I'm a little wobbly, but it's the camera that has the best quality video for me that I have. So today I'm going to be sharing three recipes with you. Two are chip replacements as I'm using them or snacks. And the other one is a cucumber drink that is totally easy and anyone can make. But um, I find that I have been drinking a lot more water, but with that, I enjoy novelty drinks, as I like to call them, because it's not always like soda or anything. It, I'm not really that much of a fan of soda, but I do enjoy drinking novelty drinks. So, for example, I have here like lavender soda. So, like, odd drinks are, like, my drink of choice, but um, the cucumber water that I have um, been indulging in a lot is really great for just having a nice refreshment to replace soda and stuff. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be showing you, and um, kale chips aren't really that hard, but the green beans is something new that I find as an alternative, and I love chips, and they go great with everything, which is so horrible about them, but chips is one of those things in my diet that I eat a lot of just because I really love chips, and so I'm slowly trying to wing away from that. So when I do have chips, I have just a handful in a bowl. And I find that having a completely different alternative to chips is better than just portioning out my chips. So sometimes I'll replace chips with these snacks instead. So now I'm going to show you what you'll need for each recipe, and then we'll get started. For the kale chips, you're going to need a lot of kale. And these, as you see, there's some packaging that has them already chopped up. You don't really want those. You want the full... Uh, kale leaves intact here. And I got these at Walmart and they were 97 cents, I believe, so I kind of went haywire on them. Plus, with kale chips, they kind of tend to disappear on the quicks, so I got a lot. Now, for your spices, feel free to experiment. This is actually lemon pepper and chili powder. And then lastly, you're going to need some olive oil. So that is going to be my seasoning for this. So that is the first recipe. Now, for the second recipe, the parmesan encrusted green beans, you're going to need an egg, some grated parmesan, and some green beans. Now, these green beans aren't fresh. They're from the packaging, but if you can and you're able to, I would totally suggest getting like fresh picking green beans. Now for the grated Parmesan, I have regular Parmesan here that's kind of been grated, but we're going to refine that even more towards where it's a powder form. And I'm lucky enough to have the magic bullet, I believe. Yep, magic bullet. So I'm just going to refine this uh, Parmesan cheese a little more. Lastly, the cucumber drink. And the things you're gonna need is one cucumber, some honey, some mint leaves, and a strainer, which I don't have here, but I'll show you once I'm making the recipe. If you guys only see the setup that I've made, Wow. Okay, so, rubbing the kale. Now, you want to get those hearty pieces. I just didn't finish that sentence. But you want to cut these extremely thick stems off. So you want to get the meaty part up here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So then you're just left with this upper kale. And depending on how you want it, you can split it up, cut it again, or you can just cut the slits right here to just make it pure kale if you don't want the stem. I personally like the stem, so I won't do that. And then just start laying it out. All these little pieces, you can just pull off of the stem. So now I'm going to be doing that to all of the kale. Just going around. Now, something I should mention is that you should probably wash your kale. Yeah, I'm gonna just wash the kale. Really quick, rinse it out. This kale is either dirty or dead. Both, both actually. Just going to clean out the water from here and there. Okay, so I still have some of these little pieces I could just go on the pan. I'm just gonna take off the stock on that one. Now, since this one is pretty long, I'm going to cut those bottom leaves out and just do that to the rest of them. This stock is definitely way too big and it's not something I would eat. So the rest of it's just like that. I can just spread it out. This one is fine. Again, here's a bigger leaf, so I'm just going to strip the leaves off. Now, when you're cooking them, you definitely want to make sure that you spread out your kale. I just wanted to hold everything here for a second, but I do have another pan out there. Just cut off all the kale. Forget the knife. We're just going to go barbaric. And again, this is a big stock, so I'm just taking out the meat. There you go. Okay. 
I went to my farmer's market last weekend, weekend before weekend, I don't know. And there was this lady who packaged kale chips really, really nicely. And I wanted them. And uh, she didn't have any more. She had sold her last bag already. And um, I was so bummed. And then I thought to myself, why not make it? I could have a large volume of it. And save it for later. So then I'm going to open all the socks. And my thing is wet. So there we go. Okay. So here's my other pan. And now I'm going to spray some coconut oil on it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to place the kale, spread it out. Now you definitely want to make sure to get the extra amount of crunch uh, that your kale is dry, but I actually don't mind it because I've done it both dry and a little soggy, and I actually don't mind it. Okay, so now I'm going to place these. I think I'm going to need one more dry. No, I'm going to check to see if I'm still recording. Okay. Okay, so now that everything's spread out, I'm going to just pour some olive oil, and then I'm going to spread it around town. Make sure that all the kale is coated. I know, right? I just put everything so nicely, and I'm just like... But now all of the pans are portionate. So there we go. Mixing everything up. Spreading everything back out. And... The olive oil, I think, is really to make sure that the spices stick to everything. And now for the spices. I guess I'll do pinches. And again, this was... Not cayenne pepper. Chili powder. And some freshly ground... Lemon salt? No. It's like my favorite spice and I forgot its name. But yes. Make sure it gets on everything. Okay. Oh, well, I guess the excess on my fingers, I'll just place around. Like I said, you could definitely play around with the flavor combinations. There's like those chicken marinades that come in packets sometimes, just a little bit of olive oil. Uh, that you could definitely mess with. So these are going to go straight into the oven now. And for the I'm going to put 20 minutes just as a midpoint, and then we'll check on them after 20 minutes. So moving on to the next recipe. Green beans, parmesan cheese, and oil. So now I'm going to braid this so that it can get into a nice mesh fine braid. So here's the Parmesan cheese. So it'll focus. Yeah, so it's extremely fine now. Well, let me just make sure it's focused. Yeah, I figured you were out of focus. I oh, forgot the rest of it. The struggles of trying to be a YouTuber on budget. Okay, so there we go. And now the wiggle. And I get a towel, but like I said, you can only see my so now we're going to scramble this. We're going to get our egg wash. You can put a little bit of salt and pepper here just to add some flavor. What was this? Oh. I have some pink sea salt here and some pepper. I personally like pepper more than salt, but that's okay. There we go. So there is our wash. There is our seasoning. Now for this recipe, because I've got the oven being used, I'm going to use my small conventional oven. But maybe I can use it like if I find a pan. Or I guess I could use it both. Now, the first time I did this recipe, I forgot to put pan. I was like, didn't have pan. So I'm going to melt a little bit of butter and then just smear it on everywhere. Uh, I'm going to do I have butter? That is the question. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I can do all of this unpreparedness out. I thought I was completely prepared, but then you find out you're not completely prepared. Hi guys! Again. So I just took out the kale chips, and here they are. The top rack was totally burnt, but the other two came out pretty great. And I don't know if you can hear them, but they're pretty, uh, 
snappy. They definitely have that crunch back there, but it tips you. I mean, you know, we had a lot, and this is what I was able to get, so. You get pale, get the hearty full stock ones, as well as get a lot. That was the first recipe. Now we'll move on to a second. Sorry to put butter in these pans. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash these in egg and then sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese on them until they're festive and then lay them out. And I'm gonna do this to the rest of these so I'll see you guys once I'm finished with the rest. Voila, so the green beans are done. They're all encrusted in Parmesan cheese. So now they're gonna go into the oven for 20 minutes or until you start to see the cheese crisp up. So while that's cooking, I'm going to make the cucumber water. So while I prep this, I'm going to steam up some tea, tea mint leaves. So there's mint. Now it depends on how much you like mint. You can put uh, more mint or less mint. Personally, I love mint, so I tend to put a lot. And then I add some honey for the flavor or sweetness. You can definitely use agave honey or any type of honey that you like. And hot water. So now we have the mint leaves steeping, and now we're going to peel the cucumber. Now, personally, I'm not much of a pulp fan, so we're going to strain the cucumber through a fine mesh strainer. Some people do like pulp, and that's fine. You can just leave everything in there, but I do not. Is that the paper towel that you see? Oh, no, that's the fine yeah. mesh strainer. <laughs> okay, so I peeled my cucumber. It's all in here. I chopped it up into portional sizes, and my niece informed me that you didn't see the strainer, so this is the fine mesh strainer I was talking about somewhere here. So now I'm going to blend this up, and then I'm going to pour it through the strainer. It's going to get loud. I'm going to strain the little bit of mixture I have in here, and then I'll pulse it some more. And with this spoon, I'm just going to push around the pulp that I have in here so that it releases all of the water. Now, you could do a lot more cucumbers if you have a larger pitcher, if you really want to infuse that cucumber. So now I'm going to go and get this started tomorrow. Gotta get the water. Wait, did I even press? I didn't even press anything. It's not like Oh, wait, it's still on board? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'll it's on board. So again, pitching through the liquid. I'm going to repeat this several times until I get at least half of the pitcher to be cucumber water, and then the rest I'll fill with regular water, and then the last bit of it will be the mint water. Let me just crush this so that I can finally blend. I get the pulp and I put it back in here to be mixed again, and then we'll do this one last time. And this is the last one. Possibly maybe I might do another go at it, but just mesh it on through. There we go. So now I'm going to put this pulp in with the mint water to simmer a little bit. So now that can infuse. Can you see it? Right there. So now that can infuse. <laughs> okay, so that is done. Kind of. We're going to wait to finish that, and I'm going to check on the green beans. Ooh, they're so good. All right, I'll check in with you when everything is done. So now I'm going to add the mint cucumber pulp concoction. Does it 
fill the rest of it up with water and then just add some cu cucumbers and then just add or you could add some cucumber slices but i'm going to add some mint leaves as well pause it. so i've squeezed a lime my leaves on and now i'm going to pour it in and i also added three splendas mix probably could use just a tad more sugar some mint leaves and there you go this is practically what I replaced my blood with this summer. So there we go. You've got two snack alternatives, which you can't see really well right now, but here they are. I think you can see them. Here's the green bean encrusted, encrusted parmesan, which is kind of amazing. And then you've got your cow chips. And you've got your amazing beverage, which On my self-serving, I served some of the lavender dry soda. It makes it kind of like a spritzer. Super refreshing. Well, that's it. Hope you guys had a good time. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week.